Hello, welcome to uh, the monthly bidding help for uh, June. We'll be publishing this uh, in May, at the beginning of the bid period for June. Uh, first off, I'd like to remind everybody that the old web interface is uh, going to be sunset uh, in the upcoming months. And if you're not familiar with this bidder interface, uh, I would recommend starting to use it and get used to it. Um, you can bid in this interface and then check your bid in the old interface if you're not totally comfortable uh, with this one yet just to make sure that you got everything right. Uh, always you can ask us questions at uh, the b6alpa.org site under a PDR for the scheduling committee. So this month I want to talk about uh, bidding days off in reserve. There are a lot of uh, complicated issues that come up, uh, and you wouldn't think it would be this difficult because you're just bidding for days off. Uh, how, could that, how could that be a problem? But you have to keep in mind that there are reserve construction rules that are processing in the background of PBS uh, that can interfere with your ability to get the days off you want without waiving certain rules. So if we look here in 25R1A, uh, you'll see that uh, the minimum number of days on is three, the maximum number of days on is six, and then the minimum number of consecutive days off is two. Now you can waive those rules, but uh, most people don't waive those unless they're trying to get a long stretch of days in a row. Uh, let's go ahead and start building a bid here. So I'll go ahead and do, we'll do award reserve. We'll do a reserve bid group. And uh, just to show you where those wave commands are, here's a wave max days on. You can go ahead and string along uh, all, I believe, 36 days in a row. That would be two back-to-back -back, uh, months. We're just going to leave that blank, though. And then also you can wave minimum consecutive days off from two down to one. Uh, there is no command to wave to zero because that really is a function of max days on. Uh, you have to have some days off somewhere. So you can either have single days off or you can have two or more days off. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a uh, absurd example just to explain the uh, three on, six on a rule set that's operating in the background. I'm going to go ahead and bid for every day of the month off from front to back. So PBS reads these uh, days off from left to right. So the first is more important than the second. The second's more important than the third and so on uh, all the way to the end of the month. Now in this case I have not waived uh, six days on in a row. I have not waived uh, two days off in a row. So PBS is going to have to deny some of these days, obviously, and uh, it's going to do so in a pattern that's required by the CBA. And it'll end up looking something like this. So if I'm on long call, I would end up with a line like this. And if I bid for short call or I didn't make any bid, it would force me to short call to get this extra day off uh, to try and maximize my days off. Because I asked for all the days off, it can give me more days off on, uh, on short call than it can on long call. And that's because we have the chart in uh, 25K1 that says uh, you get 13 days off as a long call pilot and 14 days off as a short call pilot. So you can see a pattern's been generated. And even though there are days off that are more important to me, for example, uh, the 14th and 15th are more important to me to have off than the 16th or 17th, uh, it's done this in order to meet the requirements of the two off 
and six on pattern. Now, if I had waived everything completely, I would just have 14 days off in a row. And if I waived completely everything and had bid long call specifically, I would just have 13 days off in a row. So now, thinking on that, usually what we see when we see pilots that have issues with their days off is they've created a pattern that's not sustainable in PBS. And what that means is, uh, for example, you might see a pilot bid these two days off. And they're only asking for two days off specifically, but really because PBS can't put a working block of reserve days in here, there's only two and you need to have a minimum of three. You've effectively asked for all four of them off, even though you're not bidding for those. And if you're bidding to very uh, specific days and you're counting your up to your 13 days, uh, you can put yourself in a corner where PBS is not going to be able to uh, honor all your days off because of that minimum block of three working required. So for in this example, just to further it out, I've really said I can't, I can't work until the 11th. So I could have four working days here, and then I could have uh, working days after the 19th. And I'll have to have a couple days off here, but PBS is not going to be able to honor this a bid in its entirety. So then it has to decide which prefer off days to deny in order to comply with the three on six on rule. Click the uh, Alpa logo in the bottom right to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be uh, notified of any new videos or YouTube live events. Uh, we do plan to have a couple of those scheduled for June and July as we phase out of the old web UI. Thanks for watching. You can find more information through these resources.